OPCOR CMOS farmers had the opportunity to meet with the Minister for Agriculture, Fisheries, Food Security and Rural Development, Honorable Alfred Prosper, to discuss the current state of the CMOS industry as the Minister continues to develop the strategic plan for the agriculture sector. The CMOS farmers spoke on the challenges they are currently facing, including CMOS quality issues and land acquisition difficulties. Minister Prosper also expressed concerns with the health of the CMOS farmers due to the cultivating conditions, including long periods spent in water, encouraging the association to look into insurance policies for their members. I am making that commitment that my ministry will work very closely with your association and every other association because I believe there is a lot of potential for the CMOS industry. I want it to grow and to grow as much as possible. So we can now see an industry based on value added that can generate tremendous revenue for our country, for our CMOS farmers, supporting the livelihoods of our rural people. Minister Prosper also emphasized the importance of strengthening ties between CMOS farmers and Export St. Lucia in order to ensure that goods of international standards are produced and that the country's market share increases. I mean, when you look at Prane and you look at Opicon and other areas in the, rural, um, in, in the rural communities, this is a very, very, very good industry that is impacting the lives of many, many persons. But I see this CMOS industry, if it is not regulated, we may stand to lose the industry. Just imagine a pound of CMOS, from what you said, and I heard it before, 35 to 50 dollars a pound. 35 to 50 EC dollars a pound. That tells us something about our CMOS. So you mentioned the premium quality of it, and we are, we are getting a good price for it, or we were getting a very good price for it. But it would have been very good for us to maintain that price and even increase it rather than reducing it. Minister Prosper reaffirmed his commitment to assisting CMOS farmers to combat the several issues plaguing the sector with a continued focus on increasing St. Lucia's food security and improving people's lives. From the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Agriculture, I am Anicia Antoine reporting.